Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are back with a new journal named Signal Processing Image Communication. So in this particular journal, we are going to discuss again about its scope, different kind of matrices, top viewership, top readership, as well as uh, the top authorship. So here we are going to continue all these terms and we are going to see that what are the editorial members and some of the relevant details. So starting with the home page only, if you click on this particular icon, or journal, it will come at the home page. We are already at the home page. So here you can see that uh, these are different menus available like articles and issues about publish order journal, search in the journal, submit your article and guide for authors. So as the name say itself are sufficient to convey the message that what you are trying to find, so you will get the related information. All the latest issues and the articles in press, uh, article collections, etc. You can find in the articles and issues about will discuss the aims and scope of editorial board members obstructing and indexing. And this about menu is most important because you are supposed to get concerned firstly with that uh, what is the indexing because SCI uh, a journal need to be an SCI uh, to verify its importance and uh, then its aim and scope uh, whether you are interested to publish your work then uh, what are the, your research areas and uh, whether your research areas lying in the uh, related aim and scope then the what are the editorial board members and uh, the related news announcements videos etc then some of the uh, details related with the publishing your articles uh, means if you want to submit your article then this will guide you then you will have the guide for authors call for papers open access options etc okay as you can see from here that it supports open access it means that both kind of options are available for publishing the traditional means the subscription based as well as the open access if you want to verify then you can click here open access options so it will guide you to the related page. Here you can see that gold open access means you don't need to pay any fee. Means articles are freely available to both the subscribers and the wider public. But here you can see that articles are made available to subscribers only. Okay, so in this way, I think if you don't have financial support, go for this option as this option is also a better one. So let's say talk about the homepage details again. And here you have the language editing services in case you want to have more proofreading and language editing kind of services, you can use it and there are some other other services. So in this way, each and every thing is available at the home page only, just you need to explore the right kind of option. If you want to order this journal, then the personal as well as the institutional subscriptions are available. Most of the readers or the authors come from some particular institutions. So usually the institutional subscription works here. Then you can search any particular literature or the your topic related information or the kind of articles. If you want to search, then you can use this option. Then advanced search options are also available where you can modify the details or you can apply some of the related filters. Coming to the basic details is that what is the site score? So here you can say that 6.3 and impact factor is 3.2. So a bit average. I'm not saying that very good, but not very bad. It's a average. Okay. But uh, again, just by uh, periodically, I say this thing again and again that just looking at the site score or the impact factor, you can't say whether a journal is good or bad. For that, you need to discuss two things. But first, whether it's indexing is SCI or not. If it is SCI, good. And second thing, what is its uh, Q ranking? Means Q1 or Q2. If it is Q3, then it's bad. Or Q3 or onwards, Q3, Q4, then it is not so good. But Q1, Q2 means good enough. Impact factor is the last thing you should be bothered about. Coming down, then here you can see that uh, these are the aims and scope. So let's see what is the full aim and scope of the journal. So here you can see that uh, signal processing image communication is an international journal for the development of theory and practices of image communication. And again, a very general uh, thing, but uh, quite uh, important thing to point out that uh, if you focus on the journal name in any journal, you will get to know that what is its focus. Here, as you can see that in this particular icon only here, the image communication is in bold, it is in focus, means signal processing is good, but ultimately they are focusing on image communication. Okay, so in this way, because the images are also transferred in form of some signals, so signal processing will obviously come from down there, but obviously image communication is the main focus of this particular journal. Now, if uh, we were discussing the aim and scope, so here you can see they are saying again that theory and practices related to image communication are the focus. The primary objective is to present a 
forum for the advancement of theory and practice of advanced communication to stimulate cross fertilization between areas similar in nature cross fertilization means kind of interdisciplinary research okay which have traditionally been separated for example there is aspects of visual communication as well as the information system so image communication means uh, obviously the visual communication is coming into picture and the information systems come into picture to make the communication possible okay to communicate a rapid information exchange between the industrial and academic environments that's uh, quite general line now there are so many related details but we come down at this particular section here you can see that signal processing in this particular focus image communication publishes article related to aspect of design implementation and uses of image communication system okay so if you are designing or implementing some image communication obviously you are doing some sort of signal processing okay then the general features original research work uh, and uh, tutorials and other related articles and the accounts of practical developments subject of interest include the image video here are the these are the different topics that you can look on to okay image and video coding 3d video representation and compression 3d graphics and animation compression hdtv 3 dtv systems video adaptation video over ip peer to peer video networking interactive visual communication so in every term you can see that image video are in focus or the visual aspects it means ultimately it is focusing on the visual communication visual means image communication because again video is a combination of multiple frames or the images so in this way it is very easy to judge that what is this journal scope is and whether your work is lying in this particular domain or not okay coming down here you can see that some of the matrices are given so let's see all the metrics so these are that uh, average publication time is 1.5 weeks and the acceptance rate is quite good which is 23 percent usually more than 20 is good enough okay if you want to see other historical data and other matrices you can click over here and you can look down okay so here these are the site score uh, we have already seen and impact factor the impact factor also we have already seen so currently it is 3.256 which is better than uh, past years so it is a uh, going on increase and uh, which is a good thing coming back and five year impact factor again by default impact factor means a two year impact factor means the average number of citations with respect to the last uh, published articles in last two years okay then uh, five years means the average number of citations uh, with respect to the uh, number of articles published in the last five years so if you want to see last five years impact factor then it is 3.347. So it is approximately close enough to two years, which is a good thing. Then uh, article influence and eigenvalue. So there are so many different kind of factors. And then again, you can look down into. So, but my uh, general suggestion is that if you focus on impact factor, it's good enough. First thing, focus on whether the journal is a CI or not. Second, check its Q ranking. And third is impact factor. That's it. Acceptance rate is a good thing. You need to uh, uh, so bother about this particular concept uh, definitely because acceptance rate shows that what is the probability of getting accepted into a particular journal. If a journal's acceptance rate is high, usually uh, it is said that if acceptance rate is low, means the journal's acceptance criteria are tough and that's why the journal is targeted towards only quality publications. So if a journal's acceptance rate is beyond 30, means quality is a serious issue means your work might not be recognized as a very good work among the peer community so in this way you need to um, take care about all these issues and uh, at what stage of your career you are uh, that thing also depends on because if you are doing your degree and you need some work for your degree then later if you are going for a particular job then the quality of journal that you are publishing in that matters okay if you have one single journal but that is very good then it is going to increase your chances of selection instead of having multiple journals but of poor quality then it is the review speed it is also a good factor because again in a, your career at a particular moment you are supposed to uh, bother whether uh, the, you have sufficient time or not if you don't have sufficient time for publication then review speed should be good enough so if review speed this metric is available with respect to some journal it's good and you can see so with respect to weeks you can see here that uh, here it is 16.9 weeks to have the final decision so in this way you can see that almost four to five months means five months because it is the uh, minimum uh, bare minimum figure is listed down usually it is the minimum or the average kind of figure 
but you consider it as minimum figure only. So it will take almost five months. And in elsewhere, it is usually the four to five months. Uh, I typically gives a uh, uh, faster results means the review results as well as the final results. But again, the acceptance criteria of uh, IEEE is uh, more tougher in comparison to elsewhere in, with respect to some of the journals. Okay, not I'm saying not saying with respect to all the journals. Then coming back and uh, here your online article publication time again kind of it is going to depend on the review speed. So let's see it again. So here you can see the 2.66 after acceptance article publication might take almost one month. Okay, means three weeks, not one month, but okay. So article publication time star means going to be related with respect to article publishing time only. Means it indicates the speed of publication at the journal level, excluding special issues. Okay including special issues it is that speed so here you can see that i total time final is 3.7 weeks again one more time so in this one you can see that uh, what are the different things uh, what, uh, these are some of the downloads so here you can see that uh, where the most purpose are getting downloaded so in china you can see the ranking is number one with 378,000 papers getting downloaded in india you can see number three 59456 papers being downloaded and in this way you can have a look so i think in india uh, china then usa i think yes usa and uh, third is india okay so in this way you can see different matrices and uh, again, with respect to top authorship also, top authorship is coming from China and it is pretty obvious. If top readership is coming from one country, then it's a higher probability. I'm not going to say it is definitely going to be the top authorship also from that country. No, if top readership means most of the papers are getting downloaded or getting read by the authors of a particular country, then it is a high probability that most of the authors are also going to be from that country only, okay? So China, you can see that top authors, I mean, top authorship are also coming from China. Then USA, oh, see, surprisingly, top readership was, uh, means in top three, USA was there. But here you can say top authorship, USA is not in top three. But uh, with respect to India, yes, India is ranking at second place with respect to top authorship. With respect to readership, India was at third place. So in this way, it can vary. And again, the probabilistic means that and depends on so many things. Publication options. So again, two types of publishing option as we have already seen, uh, subscription list and the open access. So you can say that uh, open access articles are three in 2020 and uh, 149 articles are subscription list. So particular ratio means uh, Usually the open access articles are accept, getting accepted more by a particular journal. In this way, people also comment that that journal is not maintaining the quality uh, because uh, I'm not saying that it is good to say that open access articles are and don't have sufficient quality. But people do say that many times in general for the sake of uh, financial issues, they accept more open access. So it's a debated issue. Uh, you can't claim whether it's right or not, not because again it is subject to multiple opinions and uh, kind of rumors also so there are so many rumors also but usually if uh, a journal is accepting more open access papers then one thing is definite and that is that the journal's impact factor is going to increase because people are going to read more papers and obviously they're going to cite it more so that's why many authors go for open access options if they have funding available at their site because they do know that their paper will be open to wider audience and then there is a higher chance of getting more number of citations. So not only the journal, even many authors choose open access just because to increase their citations. But again, it's not a bad thing. But again, uh, uh, it uh, raises another point that you can't judge uh, author's contribution into a particular field just by looking at their citation okay so authors are different their works are different their interests research field are different so you can't compare two authors just by looking at their number of citations okay that's my point so i think we should come back and uh, here again now let's see what is the editorial board and i think most of the members are going to be from china 
so let's see they have not given the categorization so we can only have the basic information so a uh, cavalero and uh, he is from king's mary university of london school of electronics engineering and computer science he is the editor in chief then the area editors are listed down here and uh, so many uh, it will put numbers are here i think 25 to 30 so in this way quite moderate size of editorial board and in this way it shows that uh, uh, moderate number of activities are going on means uh, no the journal is not accepting too many papers but it is uh, not like that that journals is not getting the papers okay so uh, they have not given the categorization based on the country uh, and the origin of the authors but uh, you can in some of the journals do provide that these many editorial board members come from this particular country and in this way you can analyze that where the journal is going to have major impact and uh, uh, some people also argue that if uh, the editorial board is representing more number of authors from a particular country then top authorship is supposed to come from them again a debated issue but uh, still these points need to be uh, heard of and you need to discuss about all these things because then only you can come into the actual research domain and you need to uh, put uh, opinion about all these things because you are a part of research community and then you should discuss that um, criticism is not a bad thing even uh, if you are going to criticize some work some journal or something then i think it is not a bad thing even i request in my every video that please criticize my videos because by criticism only you are going to get more valuable inputs so again requesting that uh, if you don't agree with any of my view or comment please uh, comment down below and let me know that what are the good things what are the bad things and uh, i will definitely try to improve uh, my presentation and all the things in my next videos so i think we have covered uh, most of the things here and uh, top authorship readership we have already seen coming down to the articles interest so here just by seeing the articles interest you can see that these are the latestly accepted issues and going to publish soon but uh, uh, looking at the latest published or the articles in press, you can have a basic idea that at what topics the journals is focusing in current. So here you can see that image retargeting quality assessment is done. The uh, saliency uh, driven classification. So classification is under focus now again for that uh, deep learning or ML might be the uh, used technique. Then water enhancement, uh, sorry, image enhancement, underwater image enhancement, and that's a quite popular. And uh, domain means uh, underwater communication, underwater image enhancement. So this is quite uh, uh, debated as well as the quite uh, dusting domain. And here you can focus on as most of the authors are working in this particular field. Then focus and detect. It's the uh, small name that they have given for the small object detection framework uh, for aerial images. Okay. So again, UAV is coming into picture, and with respect to UAV, lot of research is going on. Then. Coming to the latest of this, you can see that again underwater image restoration. So, as I was saying, that underwater image uh, restoration or the improvement, uh, this sort of domain are very popular nowadays. Then, vision uh, based works are uh, going to be in focus. Then, some of the mathematical filters and the distributions based adaptive scale operator for accurate, for accurate image segmentation and correction. So, image segmentation and correction is the focus of this work then deep architecture for your then uh, saliency prediction so in this way you can see that what are the different uh, works in current focus of the general because usually just by seeing the aim and scope we don't get the exact idea so if you see the articles in place or the latest published articles you will get a better idea then which are the top cited papers so here you can see that uh, top cited papers are these ones so in this way you can have a basic idea that uh, with respect to image communication which are the topics or the domains where the people are focusing more okay second thing most downloaded so obviously uh, open access papers do belong to this particular category and you can see that open access and then open access then here yeah, open access open access so some of the articles do belong to this category and most popular means which are the popular domain most downloaded is not most popular so most popular might be uh, just based on the plumaxius uh, plumax matrix here they have seen okay so in this way you can have the most popular papers 
uh, even based on citations also people do categorize the most popular so again journal to journal vary all these things so you can see then call for papers means if some special issues are listed down and then you can see the special issues details here then some of the related news and then also related information from here okay then finally some of the article collections are given here some of the issues or the article collection related details are provided last clear at the bottom for author cited and the repair related links are provided okay so i hope you must have get uh, a basic idea that uh, what this journal means and uh, what you can do with this particular journal so we have cleared two things that uh, the journal is uh, sci no we have not seen the index i think so one thing we need to see the indexing of this journal so let's see what is the obstructing and indexing so here you can see the journal is sci as well as the sci e okay so belonging to both the databases so in this way very good journal in terms of indexing and uh, the impact factor is 3.2 so quite good journal now the only thing we need to confirm is q ranking so let's jump on to the q ranking so here we are in sci mago site and here is the image signal processing image communication for h index is quite powerful not more than 100 but still very good that's in the elsewhere journal and uh, originated in Netherlands. Then the subject area provides uh, two tracks computer science and the engineering. And the computer science, you have the computer vision and uh, pattern recognition, signal processing, and software. In engineering, you have the electrical and electronic engineering. Coming down, it's a journal as a number, and the coverage is provided. Quite old journal, you can see 1989 to 2020. And uh, the informing homepage and the other details are provided scope we have already seen so we don't need to go into this then these are the different quartiles, quartiles yeah, with respect to two different tracks computer science and uh, engineering i think yes computer science and engineering so here you can see that computer vision pattern recognition is running at q2 electrical and electronic engineering is running at q2 signal processing is running at q2 and software is also running at q2 so all the quartiles are running at q2 right now okay so in this way based on the Q ranking 2020, it is a Q2 journal. Now, if your work doesn't get published in this particular journal due to some uh, reason, okay, due to might be any that uh, might be there might be any reason behind. So here you can see that some of the related articles. It is very much related. 91% similarity. The journal of Visual Communication and Image, Journal of Electronic Imaging, then IEEE Transactional Circuit and System for Video IT Image Processing, and there are some more. So you can try these journals. Okay. Then here you can see that SGR graph, it is a bit moderate, but it's still going down, not a good sign. Then the total number of documents, again, due to COVID in 2020, number of published works were less. So here we can understand, but up to, 20, up to 2019, it was very good. Okay. Then citations per document with respect to last two years, it is down. So in last two years, it is down, which is a uh, point of concern, but due to COVID, it might be the reason, but we can't say that citations are less due to COVID because in COVID people worked more because they were at home and electronic activities were more and that side should be better. So it's a serious concern. Then here you can see the total number of citations and the self citation. So this gap is good enough. And here you can see that these two lines are not mapping, means there are some self cited works and it is not a good sign. These two lines should map exactly on each other and in this way we can say that the journal is having totally authentic citations okay then the international collaboration is moderate only then the citable documents are very good non-citable means the ethical violations and other things are non almost none then the non-cited documents are a bit uh, means not very much but still the presence is there so the number of cited documents are 409 and which is a good sign Okay, so in this way, you can see that some of the graphs and the, the related statistics are presented over here. Overall, this widget shows that signal processing image communication is a Q2 journal. And in this way, again, I repeat that first you should see whether SCI or not. So we have seen that it is SCI as well as CIE. Both are kind of similar thing only, okay. Uh, but still, uh, the SCI ranking is there. Second thing, it's a Q2 and third is 3.2 impact factor. So overall, it's a good journal. To go with okay so that was my assessment if you didn't like anything please uh, let me know 
i will definitely try to improve and uh, one more thing that many times we do see that uh, some of the uh, things are not in focus means uh, people do realize that a particular journal or a uh, particular publisher is not focusing into a specific direction means so many different types of uh, what else uh, uh, it is providing and so many different types of articles it is accepting. So don't worry about that. It um, uh, is again a debated issue whether the journal's quality is good or bad because if a journal is, as I discussed, the fiscal communication journal. So that is dedicatedly looking for uh, physical communication related papers only. So that journal's impact factor was in one point something. So it doesn't mean that the journals are bad because the journal is specifically providing only single track. And you are, it is accepting papers with respect to that track only. If uh, we compare to JNC or FGC, so many tracks are there, so many different articles it is they are accepting, and especially they are focusing on review articles. So, impact factor is more than five. So, we can't say that just because of these two things. So, that's why we need to see whether what is the indexing means SCA or not. Second thing, what is the Q ranking? And then we should go for the impact factor. Now, here, uh, 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 last thing that uh, I'm going to discuss that uh, some of the authors which are publishing in signal processing or image communication, what are their alternative choices? In this way, means if you are a new researcher, you don't know that what are my alternative choices with respect to a particular focus. For example, you are working in image communication and you don't uh, get published in this particular journal, then what are the other uh, popular choices? So you look for the common interest, means what are the related authors uh, who are the well, uh, means which are the other journals they are focusing on. So the journal, the authors who are publishing in signal processing image communication, they also publish in uh, proceeding of uh, SPIE, the International Society for Optical Engineering, Internet IEEE transaction on image processing, multimedia tools and applications, then IEEE transactions on circuits and systems for video technology, the journal of Institute of Image Information and Television Engineering, IEEE transactions on communication, IEEE transactions on signal processing, etc. Okay, so these are some of the journals uh, based on the data available at my site. Additionally, you can switch your publisher also. If you are means uh, not um, happy with uh, elsewhere, then you can switch your publisher and uh, then you can try SPIE, you can try Springer, you can try IEEE, you can try Wiley. You can go for MDPI, you can go for Optical Society, etc. Okay. So in this way, different sort of things are available. Additionally, uh, one concept is that what is the rate of returning authors? Okay. So in 2020 uh, and 2019, returning authors rate was a bit higher in comparison to all the uh, journals uh, uh, in this particular journal. But still, in 2022, it is a uh, bit down. And uh, again, I might be wrong. If you find any better uh, uh, statistics, then please provide and I will definitely uh, try to learn from that. Additionally, that uh, when we come to the number of uh, citations, uh, then again, the number of citations are going to increase if you are looking or uh, targeting a very focused work. So if you are working into a particular domain that is very much related with this particular work, uh, with this particular journey, then your work, there is a high probability that your work will get cited because uh, readers or the authors do come onto a particular journal because they do not do think that they are going to get the related works over there. Okay. So always write work or always publish your work into a particular journal that is uh, very much similar to your research domain. Okay. So some of the most cited uh, domains with respect to this particular journal is uh, digital image processing, computer vision then multimedia uh, uh, cryptography security because it's a vertical aspect computer graphics machine learning deep learning and uh, the fourier analysis for image analysis and uh, some of the related keywords if i want to focus then again from these domains also you can extract the keywords so again the image quality video coding then data compression information hiding and uh, then encryption and uh, steganography, uh, stereoscopy, authentication, etc. So these are some of the keywords and some of the domains that uh, I just uh, discussed. And in this way, you may have a basic idea that what particular domains or the keywords you need to focus on in order to get cited in this particular or the related journals. Okay. 
so i think uh, this is uh, all from my side for this particular journal again uh, i request you if you didn't like anything please let me know i will definitely try to improve my next videos thanks for watching this video happy learning